Well, I've just returned from my local Royal Enfield dealer after completing the bike's 20,000 km service. And I feel that this is a great opportunity to review the bike. So here it is, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I will also reveal why I've now decided to sell the bike. I bought my Royal Enfield Meteor 350 just over two years ago, during the middle of the Covid pandemic. Being a Brit and living in Thailand, it was a reward to myself for getting a teaching job here in Thailand and obtaining a work permit. So the Meteor has been my daily commute during this time with a 30 minute journey to and from school each day. What swayed my decision was the fuel economy. My other bike is a 1988 Honda Steed 600 V-Twin which I love very much a poor man's Harley Davidson here in Thailand. It was costing me over 1,000 baht, or about 25 pounds a week in fuel cost to commute. The Meteor is doing the same journey for 1,000 baht a month. So my fuel bill is quartered. I can also travel faster, believe it or not, than the 600, as it is a very light, nimble, and maneuverable bike. Also, the added advantage of having ABS brakes makes travelling on wet Thailand roads so much safer. And that's what I feel on the Meteor, safe. The Meteor comes with centre stand, handlebar USB charging point, gear indicator, and a simple sat-nav display, all as standard. Something I know Honda was charging all extra for at the time. Seat and riding position is very comfortable. A three hour journey is no problem at all. The service costs are cheap and after 20,000 kilometers, I'm still on the original tires, chain and sprockets. I do, however, garage the bike and clean and lubricate often. I think this has helped. So now for the bad. On a long cruise once, the bike totally died on me and I could not restart. After an hour of trying everything I knew, I called the Royal Enfield hotline. Within an hour, the bike was recovered by a truck and taken to a workshop, and all it was was a loose connection. I will show you where that was. Something I think was not correctly replaced on the 15,000 km service. So not a big issue at all, in fact the opposite. Nothing but praise for the Royal Enfield three year warranty and service. Don't call the dealer call the hotline, it's much quicker. I was disappointed with the rear brake shoes not wearing evenly. The inner one, plenty of meat, the outer one, down to metal. Again, I put this down to a bad 15,000 km service. Rear caliper not taken off or serviced correctly. And now, the ugly. The only real issue I have with this bike, the front mudguard. As much use as a chocolate fireguard, in my opinion it's a design fault. In Thailand during the rainy season it tends to rain at night and stop in the mornings, leaving the roads wet. A five minute journey on wet roads I would be left with drenched trousers from my knees down and my shoes full of water. My ideal commuter bike turned into a nightmare, totally unpractical for a teacher turning up to school like this. On a Meteor Facebook page, many owners complained about the same thing. 
only to get slated by some old school bikers that this is what biking is all about, get over it. Sadly, I can't. When I argued the case, it was thrown up about the airflow and the engine cooling. But if that's the case, why is the new classic 350 using the same engine as the Meteor, using a different design front forks and mudguard? Anyway, that's my only moan about the bike. I'm now 55 and have been biking since an early teen. Yamaha DTs, TZRs, Honda Rebels, Honda CBs, to name but a few. And I can honestly say that this Royal Enfield Meteor is the best bike I have ever owned. Value for money is astounding. So why am I selling? Well, that's simple to answer. Ever since I was offered a test drive of the new Super Meteor 650, it's all I think about. The wife won't let me have three bikes in the garage, and the old Honda Steed needs me to keep it alive and working. Reluctantly, the 350 has to go. A great bike that will hopefully be replaced with an even greater bike. Similar style, similar function, twice the power. Plus that parallel twin sound and those beautiful twin exhausts. Time to reward myself once again. I hope you liked this video, if you did, please like and subscribe, as hopefully soon I will be able to do a full review on the new Super Meteor 650. Thanks guys, happy biking.